everyone and welcome to the Enemies Elliot and thank you for joining me as we discuss the Seven Goodbyes arc within the Quintessential Quintuplets manga series. An arc that heavily focuses on the character of Nino, while also giving us some more insight into the other Quintuplets as we head towards another exam. Overall, my thoughts on this arc were very positive as we take a slightly more psychological approach to better understand the Quintuplets themselves. One really great piece of information that we learned was the fact that the quintuplets weren't always rich. In fact, only after their mother married into the family that the girls managed to get to live a life of luxury. Before then, they were um, poor and struggling. I love this piece of insight as it allows the girls to understand Yusuke's reasons slash commitments for providing for his family. Personally, I found Nino's development really interesting, and every part of it was well presented. Learning how she felt about everything around her changing, and how it frightened her, as her sisters were all used to being the same, both in appearance and personality. But suddenly, Nino, it seems like all of these changes are coming about, and she doesn't know how to handle them. As she finds out now that Ichika wants to become an actress, which she never knew before, she blames Yusuke while lashing out. But in reality, she's afraid of being left alone, as her sisters are finding out what they want to do with their own lives, and she hasn't yet. She's still stuck in the past. Going as far as not even changing her hair length from that time when they all looked and acted the same. This, of course, acts like shackles, that she has to break by the end of the arc. She wants to go back to those memories she holds of when times were simpler. I wasn't expecting to get such a deep dive into the character of Nino. Her facial expressions and her emotions throughout this arc were a mixture of sadness, resentment, fear and pain. However, after we learn about her true feelings, we see those emotions then giving off a more of a positive vibe, thus leading us with a uplifting, wonderful smile. Like I said just a minute ago, that symbolism that her hair carries in how she kept it long to remind her of the past or to chain her to the past. So when she cuts her hair short, essentially she's breaking those chains that binds her to her memories, thus allowing her to move forward. Seeing a Nino with short hair was super cute and she looked adorable with that style. Also, the way she interacted with the cast members I found really enjoyable, especially the dynamic between Itsuki and Nino. I thought this arc did a great job of building slash showing their relationship unfold. As both characters are pretty much a supportive character when it comes to their sisters, with Itsuki taking the role of a substitute mother after her mother passed away. And Nino, we know, has always been portrayed as a caring soul when it comes to the other quintuplets. She just wants what's best for them and she wants to kind of keep things, you know, the way that she sees it. But at the same time, we had to break away from her past, which is exactly what we do. But she still keeps that sweet, innocent, supportive side of her character when it comes towards her affection towards her sisters. And speaking of Isuki, seeing how she reacted with that whole <laughs> slap situation helped emphasize how much she appreciates Yusuke's help and guidance when it comes to tutoring. Plus, it also shows her being quite perceptive in noticing that he most likely was late because he overslept due to staying up too late and studying. But the reason as to why he stayed up late studying is because before that he was working on these worksheets for the quintuplets. Plus, she was clearly torn up about her own actions, still holding her ground and refusing to apologise or return home before Nino did, plays to that motherly role that she kind of self-inserted herself into when it comes to what role each of the quintuplets take in supporting each other. Now, she does give off a lot of information to us as the reader in terms of how they lived before richness, which I loved exploring, plus we also get to see a plethora of emotions and expressions from Yusuke's character, or Isuki's character I should say, as well as her childish acts of comedy 
like forgetting her purse when storming and leaving home. That was just a bit of innocence that I found really funny, but nevertheless, Itsuki, you did a good job. Great showing. Now one character that also benefited from the development within this arc was Yusuke. Learning that in order to be successful in tutoring the quintuplets, he not only needs to focus on how he can better present his educational deliveries, but also he needs to take into consideration the quintuplets' feelings individually. But what I think I loved most about Yutsuki's involvement in this arc was his inner struggles. He's still trying to become someone that is needed by other people, and is even doubting himself towards the end. You could say him leaving the quintuplets for the purpose of giving them a more successful chance at passing their future exams was noble. But then again, you could also put this down to the theme of Yutsuki not valuing himself highly. Clearly, his help has improved the quintuplets over a period of time, even though that improvement has not come fast enough. But let's review the facts. Instead of studying, they have been rebuilding the family and patching things together between the individual quintuplets, as well as establishing a connection slash relationship between the quintuplets and Yusuke individually, trying to get them on board so that they will sit down and study. But now that's mostly all done and dusted, they have more time and more focus to kind of put towards their studying, thus advancing in their progress of passing their exams in the future. So all in all, Yusuke, you have been helping and you have been making an improvement. Although you may think you're not doing it fast enough because that's twice in two exams that they've all failed, but now you've got nothing stopping you. You've overcome many hurdles. This is just the next one to go through. Now, I do think that the talk with the girl from five years ago was a hallucination on Yusuke's part. After all, Yusuke has not been sleeping much, both from staying up and studying late, as well as Yusuke wanting an under the moonlight stroll with him. Plus, you add on the stress and worry of the final exams approaching, and how the quintuplets are still at odds with each other and fighting and not studying, and his job may possibly be on the line, then of course, a hallucination is not out of the realms of a possibility. After all, let's look at the facts. Nino knows about the book and the photo and what importance it holds, but doesn't know about Yusuke meeting a girl five years ago, aka the story he told Itsuki. Itsuki does know about the girl from five years ago, but not of the importance of said photo and said book. So why would she grab that if Itsuki was the one pretending to be the girl from five years ago? And yes, Yotsuba was there nearby, but that girl on the boat acted way too smart and way too elegant to be Yotsuba. So I don't think in any of the stretch of imagination that the girl or Yotsuba actually pretended to be that person. Plus, she has no knowledge of the book or the event from five years ago. Although some spicy words were thrown towards the Quintuplus' father from Yusuke, the way things ended in this arc, I do wonder what repercussions await now that Yusuke is back teaching his daughters. Oh, that should be a nice heated conversation between the two, but I wonder how that's going to turn out. And lastly, let's talk about Miku. This arc started off really good for her character, and getting to ask Yutiki out while they played a game of home with the director's daughter. Now I do believe that was a genuine confession from Miku, but even if it wasn't, that's still a great moment for her character as it helps prove her resolve and her feelings and conviction in what they are towards Yusuke. Plus her acting as a supportive sister to Nino helps build more chemistry between them, which could lead to a explosive event occurring in the future. Now, in my previous reviews, I have mentioned that the acting of being another quintuplet to trick people is getting old pretty fast. However, Miku using it to find out where Nino was, was really smart and creative from Nino, uh, Miku's character's perspective. Even I have not seen that before from the series, and I thought that was pretty cool. Now, it could have just been where I was reading the chapters too, but Miku's eyes looked really dead and devoid of any emotion, 
What well, concerns me a little bit, so I do hope she's okay. Nevertheless, though, Miku, you had a great arc, so keep on being you. Now, overall, I did like this arc. I thought it was really fun and entertaining. We got some great development from different characters, and we got some lore given to us with the, uh, from the quintuplets and other things surrounding the series. While the ending was an emotional and wholesome ending, showcasing just how much Yusuke means to the quintuplets. Like, they literally bought a new house just for him to teach them in. And even Nino is starting to get the, ooh, tight chest, tingly, tingly feelings. So we'll have to see where that goes in the future. Anyways, let me know your thoughts on this arc down in the comment section down below and any of the points that I've mentioned in this video. But of course, I hope you enjoyed. If you have, hit that like button and subscribe if you're new for more from me soon. Other than that though, have a great day. Arigato, matane. Goodbye.